Well, well, doggy. Seems we've got some suspects for this uh, trouble that the Master Huntsman Nicholas has. Ah, and I think this might be our person, Thomas of the Bats. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I hear there's been trouble with poachers recently. I don't have time to talk to strangers. Good day to you. Um, hello. That sounds a bit suspicious. I'm here to find out about the poachers gang, and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. I heard you were yelling in the tavern that you were off to hunt some venison. Look here. I don't know who you are, but you should watch your mouth. I will. Don't you worry. So what happened then? What? Nothing. It was just the beer talking. I got pissed and started spouting shit. Didn't mean a word of it. Maybe not. That remains to be seen. That'll do me. Hmm. Where is his friend we can go and ask Dog down at the quarry? Uh, ask the uh, proprietor. God grant you health. How may I help you? I'd like to find out about the poachers round here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Eleanor if you're determined. That old gossip will tell you all there is to know. Hmm. God be with you. Interesting, Dougie. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? I'd like to find out about the poachers round here who've been stealing game recently. If I were you, I'd ask Thomas the bath hand. He was boasting in the tavern about how he was off to the woods for some game. Yeah, Goodbye. already spoke to him. God's blessings. I'd like to find out about the poachers round here who've been stealing game recently. I don't know any. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just wanted... I said I don't know any. If you want to know anything, go see Blacksmith's Betty. She saw them feasting in the woods. Feasting? That's all I know. But don't worry. She'll talk your ear off. Mm. I'll be with you. Blacksmith's... Is there a blacksmith around here? I don't remember there being a blacksmith here. Blacksmith's Betty. Well, that's down there, so... Hmm... Curiouser and curiouser. So, Anna's down here. Let's see what she might have to say. That sounds a bit strange if somebody said they were feasting. I guess that's just, well, it could be anything, really. Good health to you. I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer Hare. He's the one who's been running amok. I said he'd be back and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. Sorcerer? Tell me something about Hannikin Hare. Ah, that was all years ago. He turned up here one day. No one rightly knew where from. He claimed up at the castle to be a nobleman's son, and so he got the office of Master Huntsman, and Margaret was promised him for his wife. Nobody could have known he was a sorcerer. That's a bit suspicious. And how did his sorcery reveal itself? Well, he was able to vanish into thin air in the forest right in front of folk. And I've heard it said he spoke to animals, too, though I don't know the truth of it. That well, doesn't sound very convincing to me. That's because you've not seen his marksmanship. It was natural, the things he could do with that bow of his. They say he sold his soul for the gift of it. I see. Hmm. How did it go with Margaret? I'm not one to gossip. But she was a flighty lass in her younger years. She could never make up her mind which one she wanted, the hare or Nicholas. So in the end, fate decided for her. What do you mean? What happened with hare? Oh, that was quite something. And then some on top of it. 
Sir Henry of Lipo was visiting here at the castle, and Hare snapped his Garthman's neck with his bare hands. Of course, they found him out. But how do you keep a sorcerer under lock and key? You can't. That's your answer. And that Satan spawn slipped the net. Oh, well. It's quite a wild story. Any idea why he murdered the man? No one knows, and most likely never will. But they say he was fully in the devil's power. There was a full moon, you see. Was he actually seen killing the guardsman? I suppose so. Else they'd hardly know who did it, would they? Mm, that's probably true. There is one other thing I want to ask. Has anyone actually seen this Hannikin Hare? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right. But he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't be catching him anytime soon. But Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Cavorting and raising hell. Sorcery! Hare meets up with his sorcerer's apprentices, and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn into ravens and scatter. Or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. Who knows what she saw? Or what she was doing there with them. Very well. I'll ask. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well. That one always knew how to land on his feet. Thanks. I think I know all I need. God be with you. Yeah, you too. Well, I think she's like, um... I think she's away with a dog, I mean, that's like, no, nah, I'm not buying into that, so, tell you what, we'll go back and get the horse and then we'll, um, we'll head over to the quarry, let's have a chat with, uh, I can't remember what he was called, but it's Tom's, uh, friend, Jack Piper, I think it is, you coming, come on, dude, oh, hold on, hold on, this is Blacksmith Betty, mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. Yep, that's probably because I was. I've got a few questions about these poachers. So ask. I heard you saw something fishy in the forest. That's right, I did. Can you describe what you saw? It was after dark, I remember that. I went up past the castle along by the clearing and I saw someone had lit a fire. And there were figures singing and dancing, and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And I could smell roast meat. It was like a feast of some sort. Only I thought maybe it was some witch's sabbath, so I was afraid to stay too long in case they saw me. Did you recognise anyone there? Someone from the village, maybe? No. Like I said, it was dark. All I could see was shadowy figures moving around. Did you hear any familiar voices? No, no. But I heard girls' laughter. Goblets clinking, a piper playing. It sounded just like any feast. Where is the clearing? A short walk north of the castle. There's a track past the woodcutter's camp that takes you there. Thanks. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. And putting those antlers on Nicholas's house? Well, we all know what that means, don't we? It's the sign of a cuckold, you mark my words. You mean to say his wife's cheating on him? All I'm saying is she might be feeling the urge. It happens in the best of families. Well, you're the first who's certain of Harry's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it, but better the devil you know, and everyone hereabouts knows hair. You were singing a different song not long ago. So? 
Why do you want to know so much, anyway? It's nothing to you, but I'm helping Nicholas unmask that local poaching gang. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you know. And you also know not to keep anything from me. So, what's the story with that hair? All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well hair's here, because Margaret admitted as much. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. Hmm. Who's this Hannikin Hare, anyway? Hannikin Hare? There was a time he was master huntsman here, and Margaret was set to be his wife. But then he got himself accused of murder and fled before they could hang him. Margaret and his job both ended up going to Nicholas. That sounds like a setup to me. So what's the story between Hare and Margaret? It was complicated. He wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon. At least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hannikin Hare. So what went on between Hare and the Huntsman? Those two? There was no love lost between them from the moment Hare arrived. And then Margaret got involved. It was a messy business. Do you think Hare really killed that man? Who knows the truth of it now? I did find it all a bit odd. Hare never was much of a hothead. But then again, no one really knew him that well. And Margaret never wanted to speak of it. Wouldn't hear a word about it. Hmm. Well, you're the first who's certain of Hare's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it. But better the devil you know. And everyone hereabouts knows Hare. Stop trying to wriggle out of it. Do you realise who I am? Um, not really. But you know who Radzig Cobbler is, right? Of course. I'm his right-hand man, and I'm helping the huntsmen catch the poachers. So, I'm not someone you should be messing around. All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well hairs here, because Margaret admitted as much. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. I keep getting this strange feeling of deja vu lately. That's all I need. Thanks. Take care. Right. Well, I suppose we've questioned her. Let's get back to going over to the quarry then. Aha! So it's Jake Piper that we need to talk to. Uh, don't, can, can you stop getting in my way, please? God's blessings. What can I do for you? Because I have a funny feeling, based on what Betty's just been saying, they were having a feast on the night, and that's what uh, they heard, they heard him playing his pipe. I need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Me? Why me, for Christ's sake? They say you were mouthing off in the tavern. We'd all had a few ales. You know what it's like. The tales get taller. So you didn't go poaching with Thomas? My God, no. That would never even cross our minds. Thomas is a bit wild, but I have some sense, at least. Some folk had themselves a feast in the woods recently, and the people who passed by told me they heard a piper playing. You weren't by any chance there, were you? I was. I don't deny it. But nothing disreputable went on there. So who was at the feast? Just the village girls and us. Who's us? Us lads. 
Was Tom from the bath there too? Yes. Yes, he was there. Hmm. Something you're not telling me. If you're innocent, lying won't help you. I don't know what you want from me. Nothing wrong went on in that clearing. And I certainly don't go poaching in the woods. But you do know something about it and you're keeping it from me. Covering up for a friend, is that it? Very well. Loyalty is a fine thing. But once they discover who did it, then it'll be too late. You'll be in right in over your head with him. But I haven't done anything. Then you have nothing to fear if you tell me what happened. All right. Yes. There was venison being eaten. But I didn't bring it. Thomas brought that there. So all that bragging when he was drunk was more than just hot air? I don't know where the deer came from. After what happened in the tavern, Tom took me to the forest, to this hide there. But I was too worried someone would catch us, and I took off. You did yourself a favour. Thomas isn't going to get away with this. I need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Me? Why me, for Christ's sake? Hmm. Good luck, then. Yeah. Might be a bit of a, a need for good luck. There's something going on here. Right, let's go back and have a chat with Thomas then. Hmm, I want to know where you got this venison from. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm here to find out about the poachers gang, and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. Jake swore to me that you dragged a stag to the feast. So out with it. I'm telling you, I wasn't there. Look, I can see you're not a poacher. You look like you couldn't hit a barn door. That's what you think. Are you trying to tell me you're a marksman? Are you an idiot or just too vain to think straight? I don't see what you're getting at. Look, I can tell you're not the poacher, but this constant lying isn't helping your case. In the end, if they don't find anyone, they'll come after you. They'll know it's not really you, but so what? There'll be no one better to blame, and someone has to swing for it. All right. But promise me you won't drag me into anything. Speak up, and who knows? I might put in a word for you. All right. The truth is I did drag a deer carcass there, but I didn't do the shooting. I was given it. That's a likely story. Honestly, not a word of a lie. I caught the poacher just as he was skinning it. And who might that be? I don't know. If you don't tell me who it was, I've no reason to believe that story of yours. Fine. Fine. He's one of the charcoal men. I've seen him taking the charcoal to the forge. His name is Radan. But there are plenty of charcoal burners around here. He came from the charcoal piles south of here. If you follow the creek upstream, you can't miss them. Well, you better pray I find him, because if you've been lying to me, I'll go straight to the castle. Understood? I'm telling the truth, I swear. I'm sure you'll find him there. We'll see. Hmm. This is getting stranger. Maybe this Hannigan hair has just been made up then. Right. Guess we need to go and question a charcoal burner now. Right then, Mutt. Let's have a bit of a chat with this uh, charcoal burner. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? No, I got in a fight and I got beaten up. Let's not talk about it. A fellow from Talmborough claims he saw you poaching. What do you have to say about that? <clears throat> Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hang on a minute. You were just talking to me a minute ago. I could take you off to Talmberg right now, so you better speak up. I'm not a poacher. That's not what I've heard. <clears throat> but I'm not a poacher, though. <clears throat> Did your friends tell you the penalty for poaching? No. No? Of course not. Because if you knew, you'd never have been foolish enough to get involved. I'm no poacher. No, of course not. You're the Pope in disguise. What? No, never mind. But just so you know, the local custom is to string poachers up. 
I don't want to hang. No? Then you better make sure they won't hang you. How? For a start, by telling me where I can find your merry band of poachers. Because maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but I don't think you're the leader. Eh? No, I'm not. So, out with it. They only take me along from time to time. All right. But you know where I can find them, don't you? Aye. And where is that? The clearing. They meet in a clearing? They camp there. And where is the clearing? A short walk from here. Oh, Lord, a short walk where? Do you know how many clearings there are in these woods? No, sorry, I don't know. Oh, my God. Where is the clearing they camp in? How do I get there? Along the trail, from the huntsman's lodge. Go into the wood by the big broken tree, eastward. Very well. I hope I can find it. Good luck, then. Oh dear lord. Right. Let's back paddle. Oh hello. Um tell you what, we'll, we'll have a chat with uh, Margaret here. Clear up this crazy nonsense about Hannig and Hay. Good afternoon. I'd like to ask you about Hannig and Hare. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about that. Hmm. What's she hiding? Well, yeah, she might not want to, but all the same, I need to clear it out. Sorry. The thing is, every time I spoke to someone about hair, they always ended up talking about you. But I don't. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling, and I need to hear it. Very well. You're right. And what would you like to know about hair? How were things between you and hair back then? There was nothing between us. Hannick and hair impressed my father with all his talk of noble blood. But I couldn't stand him. And I didn't want to marry him. And then it made no odds after he ran away. So you didn't want him? I only asked because I've heard differently. That's village talk. Of course folk gossip. Mostly, they just want to hurt Nicholas. Hmm. Did Hare really commit the murder? God in heaven, how should I know? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. That remains to be seen. What did you talk about in the woods with Hannah and Hare? I see Betty's mouth's been busy. Don't blame her. I had to work hard to weasel it out of her. Now tell me. Oh, all right. Well, it seems Hannigan Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. And what about you? What do you mean? I was so shocked, I couldn't even scream. Is that all he told you? He said if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. Oh, hang on a minute, so he's actually back. Oh, whoa, this is getting weirder. Where was it you saw him exactly? I wish I could tell you. The whole thing was like a fever dream. I almost got lost trying to get out of the forest. Even if I remembered, it wouldn't be any use to you. Hannah and Hare moves through the forest like a ghost. He knows every tree root off my heart. Tell you what, I need to lure him out. I need to have a chat with him then. I want you to hang that garland on the lodge. But I don't want to go anywhere with him. You don't have to go anywhere. But tell me, where's that secret meeting place of yours? On the way to Ujits. Back then, we used to meet by the great big beech tree, right next to the wayside shrine. There's a lovely view there, you see. And what time will he be waiting there for you? At dawn. What are you going to do to her? Never you mind. The main thing is it will all get sorted out. And that's all that matters, isn't it? I suppose so. Very well then, I'll hang the garland for you. That'll be everything. Take care. Something fishy about what she's telling me. Right. 
I suppose we still need to find this here um, it's clearing so that's the clearing there and there's a clearing where the porches are up there let's go and see these uh, these actual porches then yeah let's do that ah looks like this is the place where these porches hang around yeah. hmm good if you could have had a good snuff Trying to figure out what was going on around here, Doug. Something's jumping out here. It's probably just as well, really. I don't think I particularly do want anything to jump out, quite frankly. Oh, hang on. Nope. Hmm. got to be more to it than just a, than a mushroom. Got to be something here. I mean, you can see there's the fire. They had a fire. No sign of any porching. I haven't... Hmm. We need to do some serious looking here, doggy. I think we're missing something. Aha! Right then, I need a speed. Where? Right, you've got the speed, right? I'll have that off you. Thank you very much. So what are, what have we got buried here? Hopefully not what I think. Ah. Yeah, that's just because of the porches. Yep, I think that's all it is. I think all I've done is they've just buried a. I think they've just buried the carcass here. So there. somebody obviously killed a deer. And that's how they got the venison. Hmm. Intriguing. How on earth do we find these actual port porches then? At some point we were supposed to go and speak to Andrew, but that doesn't seem to be as important for some strange reason. What time is it? Tell you what, let's go and see if we can get anything out of him then. Come on. Since we're passing through here, I think it's about time we had another chat with this uh, Nicholas here. God be with you. I've been hearing some quite wild stories about hair. People do prattle on. It happened a long time ago, and I've heard some crazy tales myself. <laughs> and what's your version of what happened? Hare was a stuck-up knob. He came here with nothing to show but his bare arse. But he thought he could have anything he pointed at. All because he was of noble stock. Whatever became of him? Oh, well, you must have heard. He killed one of the armed men that served Sir Henry of Lipa, and they sentenced him to hang. Except he scapered right out of the castle dungeon. How did he manage that? Nobody knows. But I'll bet he had help from someone up at the castle. Hmm. That would make sense. I heard that he was a sorcerer. And I've heard there's blooming roses on Rattay Gallows at Christmas. A sorcerer. Bah! Hare was a ruffian. But there was nothing supernatural about it. Not the impression I've been getting. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a surprise when he was, you know, he was said to have like killed this uh, guard. Hmm. Something's not right here. And what was your wife's role in all this? He had his eye on her, and she didn't want him. That's all. And it had nothing to do with what happened later. That's all I need. Thanks. Hang on a minute. Take care. Hang on a minute. She was going... She was going up to this clearing with him. 
and quite often it sounded yet he was he's painting the picture as if she wanted nothing to do with him something going on between these two that they're not letting on hmm well, I was going to go and see Andrew, but I don't think there's any point now. I think I might have a have a chat with this here now that I've found he actually exists. Although, to be honest, he's um, yeah, interesting to get his opinion before I tell uh, tell Nicholas about the real poachers. What time is it? It's still a while. Oh well, maybe we'll just twiddle our thumbs, I think. Come on, you two. Oh, this is a bit weird. I thought we were supposed to meet him at dawn, but I've just spotted somebody in the clearing. I'm guessing Nicholas won't be joining us. Who the devil are you? I thought you wanted to meet up with Margaret. Fortunately, I'm not that much of a fool anymore. I was hoping I'd tempt Nicholas out of his lair. But let's get to the point. Who are you, and what are you doing here? My name is Henry, and I work for the Master Huntsman. So are you going to arrest me? I am. All I ask is that you listen to me first. Let me guess. You're going to tell me you're innocent. I wouldn't presume. I've been poaching on the Divish estate, and I'll take the punishment I deserve. But the crime I was nearly strung up for, that one I didn't commit. Who are you, anyway? Let me introduce myself. My name is Hanneken Hare of Zalush. The nobleman? Um, I used to be. My house became sadly impoverished. And I became the master huntsman at Talmberg. Gamekeeper turned poacher. Hmm, I see. That's quite a transformation. Nicholas gave me no choice. What happened to your family? My father lost his influential friends and the money with them. After his death, I inherited only his debts. There was nothing for it but to sell off all our possessions, see to my sister's welfare, and manage as best I could. That sounds a rough deal. Believe it or not, I never cared for the life of a nobleman. I spent my youth running free hunting in the woods. What happened between you and Nicholas? I was falsely accused of murder. Henry of Lipa visited Talmberg, and the morning after the banquet in his honor, one of his men was found dead. And didn't they have any cause to suspect you? That's just it. They did. At the banquet, I got into a fight with the man. I know Sir Hanish of Lipa. Was Sir Henry his father? Indeed. He was on his way to retire to take charge of the fiefdom for young Sir Hans Capa. Why did you get into a fight with him? The fall of the house of Zalush was the work of the Lords of Lipa, and that fellow took great delight in reminding me of it. And then what? Nicholas began to pull strings. Several people came forward as witnesses to say they saw me with the fellow later that night. Why would he have done that? He wanted rid of me. We were both in love with the same lass, you see. And Margaret is his wife today. But back then, there was no question which of the two of us would win her. I was the huntsman of noble blood. And Nicholas was just plain Nick. Her father's preference was clear. What did Margaret think of you? She took me for a fool. She only had eyes for Nicholas, but I didn't see it then. In the end, she could have saved me. How? She could have told the truth. After the banquet, I was with her. But when they asked her, she said she hadn't seen me that night. Ah. Yeah, sounds familiar. Do you know who did kill the man? No. He was found in a ditch with his neck broken. He could have tripped and fallen all on his own. And that never occurred to anyone? It did. But some people swore they'd seen us jostling on the drawbridge. Of course, that was Nicholas's work. 
Yeah, it's interesting. The father wanted her to marry him. But she was interested in Nicholas. And I think between the two of them, found a way to get, get him out of the way. It would be a coincidence, but I have my suspicions. How did you get out of it? What leads you to imagine I did? Your head's still on your shoulders, so you must have escaped somehow. I'm alive. But my name and my family's name has been dragged through the mud. For me, that's worse than the sentence waiting for me. If you say so. But you still managed to get away. Well, it's true. I had the good fortune to escape from the dungeon. An interesting story. I can't complain of boredom. The question is, will anyone believe me? Yeah, I suspect uh, you were set up, dude. Those two both had a, an interest. Both have a motive for getting rid of you. And that was just too, too convenient. Even if I believed you, there's no proof. It all happened a long time ago. I know. But if I didn't believe in my own innocence, I'd have to be crazy to have done what I did. Why? If I truly were guilty, why would I risk coming back to Bohemia? I could have died in peace as a rich man in the pay of the Yagalonians. Only a fool would come back. Nicholas took everything you had, regardless of your guilt or innocence. I'd say you have more than enough cause to want revenge. I'm not like him. Anyway, you're right. I don't have any proof of my innocence. All I can give you is my word. Yeah, I do suspect, uh, I do suspect the other two. I don't know if they necessarily got rid of that guard, but they might have taken advantage of it, but there's no proof. This is one of the most insane stories I've heard lately. That doesn't surprise me. But something tells me you're speaking the truth, Anakin Hare. Thank you. And if you want to help me, come to the old mine gallery in Broadwoods. I'll be there. I have a plan. But I need some help. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I mean, it's just too much of a coincidence for him to have been set up. He's, he must have been. So, we need to go to a mine. It's not too far from where we are, so it's just a little south. Right, come on you two, let's get moving. Right, come on, Mutt. This looks like the place where we need to be. Yeah, I think this is where he wants us to meet him. Might as well grab that. Make something out of it. You see a specific time? Hmm. Mr. Hare, where are you? Oh, there you are. I must admit I had the advantage of bringing a horse with me, like right? He's over there. <laughs> yeah, man. Are you going to talk to me yet? So, what are you up to? Working out how to get Nicholas's confession. And how would you do that exactly? Simple. I'll have him sign it. I've had the priest in Janowitz write me up a parchment. When Nicholas signs it, he'll admit to everything written down there. How do you want to force him to do that? He won't have a choice, or rather he will have, between his wife Margaret and the job of huntsman. Um, what? I'm not following this at all. It's plain enough. We'll kidnap Margaret. That's to say you'll kidnap Margaret while I distract Nicholas. If he wants to see her again, he won't have any choice. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Kidnapping? That doesn't seem like much of a way to clear your name. No. Take a look around you, Henry. Sigismund kidnapped Wenceslas, his own brother. And Divish was abducted by Merek of Waldeck. True, but Sigismund and Medek kidnapped the men they wanted to bargain with. 
You're thinking of taking a man's wife who's done nothing to deserve it. And what of it? Those others did it for money or power. I'm doing it to redeem my honor. And since you mentioned Margaret, she's not all that innocent. I could have swung because of her. But that confession is just a scrap of parchment with writing on it. What will happen to him after that? That scrap of parchment is for Sir Divish and the provincial court. But we'll be generous to Nicholas and let him leave in peace before we deliver the confession to Talmberg. So Nicholas will go free and you'll clear your name? Hopefully. So what do I need to do? I had Nicholas's prized hunting horn liberated. I'm sure Nicholas will recognize its sound from quite far off. I'll lure him out of the lodge at dawn. And I meant to kidnap his wife while he's gone. Of course it would be best if she went with you voluntarily, but if not, you'll just have to drag her with you. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. What if there's trouble? That's why I'm sending you. I trust you. But whatever happens, Margaret mustn't be hurt. When you get her, bring her here. Then we can decide what's next. All right. Don't forget, tomorrow at dawn. Tomorrow at dawn. Okay. Dude, this is crazy. But what else can you do? Hold on. Why am I trespassing? Past dawn? I mean, Nicholas should have gone by now. Woo! Oi! Guard here. Is he... Is he actually gone? Is he... Yeah, so Nicholas is gone. Margaret's still here. What's that? Yeah, Nicholas is gone. Looks like he's left a guard. Keep an eye on the place. Right. Try and stay hidden and we'll sneak up on him and knock him out. I don't think he saw me. Alright, go on. Get back on your route, dude. I need you to turn around so I can sneak up on you. So by the time I go all the way around the back and come all the way down, you're going to turn around anyway, won't you? Right. Oh, that was clever, leaving a guard here. Oh. Oh, that was close. Come on, dude, get moving, man. We haven't got all the time in the world. I can only just, like lure Nicholas away for so long. I need you to get moving. And I can go and have a chat with Margaret. Come on, don't just stand there. Plus, I'm assuming he can't see me. Right, here we go. Sneaky, sneaky. There you go. Don't fight. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Right. So now you're going to get to experience what it's like for me. I keep waking up and blowing piles of manure. So I don't think it matters. He knew. He knows somebody was trespassing, or at least he saw somebody. Right, let's leave him there. Well, it does look as though Margaret's on her own. We're going to have a bit of a chat with her. Uh, let me double check. Yep, 
can't get anything from there, so that's it's not a problem. Because we really want Margaret. Like. Yeah, I was looking to see if I could find any incriminating evidence. Sounds like she's awake, which is what we want anyway, to be fair. She hasn't come out. It's obviously awake by the sounds of it. That sounded like. Yep, you're definitely awake. What are you doing here? Get out right now, or I'll scream. You won't, because if I don't bring you back with me, Nicholas will be in deep shit. What are you talking about? What happened? That man of yours walked right into Hannah and Hare's trap. And if you don't come with me, his neck will be on the block. Hare won't do anything to him. He'd never threaten a man's life. Maybe he's not the person you once knew. A couple of years in exile can change a man. I'll go with you. Just don't hurt me, please. I've got no cause to hurt you. I want to ask you something first. Ask away. Interesting, because you just said there he wouldn't hurt a fly, and yet you didn't uh, give him an alibi. Why didn't you tell the truth back then? Hare was with you after the banquet. I never wanted to marry him, but father insisted because Hare was of noble descent and his name meant something. That lie was the only way I could get rid of him. Even though it meant condemning him to die. Marrying him would have been a living death for me. I love Nicholas, and I wanted nobody else. Can't you understand? Yes, I understand. Whoa, truth. That's what I suspected, but man, you, that meant she was willing to let him die. That, no, uh, yeah, six and, yeah. Either way. Do you know who actually did the deed? No, and I don't think it was ever discovered. Once Hare disappeared, nobody bothered asking any more questions. Hmm. Come on, let's go. Good work, Henry. Now we have to act fast and sort out Nicholas. Are you all right? Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of my opinion, but I don't think it's gonna. He's got a. He, I think he's got a like a another opinion of us. So that well, yeah, it's probably not a good idea. I don't think about it much. What next? Take this confession. Go to Nicholas and make him sign it before you tell him where Margaret is. And what if he refuses? You'll have to make him, one way or another. Fair enough. I'll get to it. Here's the document. Don't forget to tell him he should get the hell out of Talmberg before we take it to the castle. Where will I find you? I'll wait for you in the clearing. Be quick. I don't want to keep poor Margaret here any longer than necessary. I understand. Yeah, that's interesting that because technically she would go to trial she was willing to let an innocent person die. Hmm. Right, let's pop these on. And then we shall go and have a chat with uh, with Nicholas. Ah, oh, that's convenient. There he is. Right, let's have a nice little chat with you, shall we? Have you seen my wife, Margaret? I'm sure something must have happened to her. I can't find her anywhere. Yes, I've seen her. Speak, where is she? Hannikin Hare is holding her captive. How do you know that? It makes no odds. Just listen to me. What, you horson? Tell me where she is right now or you'll rue the day. 
bluster all you want, but if you ever want to see Margaret again, you better get a grip on yourself. Where is she? Tell me! You, know, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Sign this parchment here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. I, Nicholas Angel, do hereby confess... No, 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 no. Conspiracy against Sir Hanneken Hare? Just in proper punishment? What? You must be out of your fucking mind. Never! Hmm. Have you no honor at all? You almost sent an innocent man to his death on account of a woman, and now justice has finally caught up with you. So face it like a man. Justice? What's all this about justice? Come to that, who are you, really? Why, you probably weren't even a glint in your father's eye when it all happened, and you want to judge me? Merciful justice. If you sign this, Sir Hanneken will give you a head start. You and your wife could be long gone before Divish learns what you did. I take it there's no other option. None. But the deal could have been far worse. You can trade your good name for a happy life with your wife. There. Now tell me where my wife is. There's an old mine gallery a little to the south of here. Margaret is in there, alive and well. I certainly hope so. Hmm. So now, where on earth do we meet up with Hannigan? So he's just slightly out in a little clearing area. Actually, not too far. Oddly enough, in the direction you're walking in, I suspect. <laughs> right, let's go find them. Aha, so there you are. Right, got your document, mate. So, have you got it? It's done. He signed it. Voluntarily? Yes. More or less. Well, I'm glad it's been done without bloodshed. And what now? Will you take the confession to Talmberg? We'll go together. I need you to bear witness. I've been gone for years, and I'm not sure they'll take my word for anything. Well, I hope they do believe you. Otherwise, we're both for the noose. Don't worry. Divish won't forget our former friendship so easily. Are you ready to go? So no doubt that's who I'll probably let him go then. Hmm. Anakin Hare. I never expected to see you again. It was the will of God that I return. You realize that Sir Henry of Lipa has never repealed his sentence against you. I'm duty bound to arrest you and turn you over to the provincial court. Perhaps. But will you read this first? Henry here is my witness that your master huntsman Nicholas signed it himself. This ought to change their minds. Hmm. It might. I'm sorry, Hannigan. I always trusted you. But your guilt seemed irrefutable. Nicholas was very thorough. Ah. Oh, there's no doubting his own confession. Captain. Yes, sir. Have the Master Huntsman arrested. That won't be necessary. I don't think they'll find him. I understand. So, what's to be done with you now? Poaching? and kidnapping the Master Huntsman's wife. You see my difficulty. I know. I can't stay here. It's enough to know my name is cleared. I'll have a letter drawn up to recommend you to the service of Sir Vincent at Vellish Castle. Thank you, sir. 
But if Nicholas has vanished and we're sending you to Velish, then who's going to be my master hunter here? There's one obvious candidate. Henry here. Help me bring Nicholas to justice. And he's no disgrace as a hunter. Really? Well, what of it, young man? Mm, well, technically I'm already the master bailiff of, of its love, it's but... Ah, what the heck? Why not? Yeah, let's go for it. It would be an honor, sir. Good, good. Then I hereby name you Master Huntsman at Talmberg Castle. My Chamberlain will tell you more about your new responsibilities. Good luck to you, Hannigan. Thank you, Henry. I could never have managed it without you. God willing, we will meet again one day. Hmm. What? Well, I've got another bed. Oh, that's useful. Have you looked into that matter of boundaries? I have, sir. Um, hang on. I need to get out of here because this is somebody else. This is his house. Oh, so that's interesting. So we're now the master huntsman. Presumably that's our bed over there. So we've now got a bed there and a bed there. But I, I think I'd prefer the bed there. Oh, that is that is good. Well, I guess I better go all the way back up there, get the dog, get the horse, and hmm, think about what to do next. Because I, I probably spent a bit too much time, uh, and we need to find out about um. Oh, that woman over at the, at the inn, don't we? Yeah. We're supposed to be due for a reward. I went there. Mm -hmm.